This is a bonus video on applying graphite sheets to the MateBook X Pro. I was in the middle of putting them on my 2019 MateBook X Pro when I thought, hey, I didn't include this last time, so here it is. The goal of this mod is to use extremely thermally conductive pyrolytic graphite sheets to help spread the heat much better than the keyboard could alone. Linked in the description is a PDF of the scan of the laptop's chassis, printed out in an actual scale to use as your cutting stencil. This has been flipped horizontally so that when you attach the graphite sheet to the back of the paper and cut it, it'll be exactly correct for the laptop. First, remove everything from the chassis. You don't want anything covering here, so take out the motherboard, the USB-A daughter board, the LCD controller, and all that stuff. Put the display ribbon cables out of the way. This way you clear the space for the graphite sheets to go on there. Oh, also take the speakers out or else they'll be in the way too. Remember that you're trying to cover as much of the chassis as possible. Put double-sided tape on the glossy plastic backing of the sheet. Make sure it's the hard, glossy side that detaches from the graphite sheet, not the insulation coating of the graphite sheet itself. See this line where the keyboard module ends? You can fold the paper at that point to help you position the graphite sheet. Making marks is also very helpful. Temporarily attach the graphite sheet to the paper so that you can start cutting. Cut out the section that goes into the dimples of the chassis. When you get to cutting the outer edge, remember this. If you print the PDF on letter-sized paper, the edge of the paper happens to be the edge of the keyboard, where the graphite sheet ends. So you can just cut along the edge of the paper, and that'll be the edge of the graphite sheet. When you're done cutting out the basic shape, peel the graphite sheet off the plastic backing and carefully start sticking it onto the chassis. When you encounter any threaded studs or other obstacles, use a knife to cut that part out. As you transition the sheet into the dimples, don't press too hard along the edge. Instead, make the graphite sheet flow smoothly into the dimple. Sharp folds make it less effective. That's about it. Just repeat the procedure for the other two sheets, and remember to follow the link in the description for the full guide brought to you by bradshacks.com.